Since you clicked on this video, there's a real good chance you're not 100% sure what OSHA says about whether or not you need or don't need a safety latch on your hook. And that's great because in this video we cover what OSHA says, what it doesn't say, and some recommendations for you before you make your next pick. What's up guys, Devin here from Mozilla Companies and today we're covering hook safety latches. In this video, we'll cover why there are so many different stances on hook safety latches, some best practices for you, how should and shall come into play, and some recommendations for how you can audit your entire rigging hardware to see whether or not you need or don't need them. Now before we get started, I do wanna note that I did reach out to OSHA and I try to get them in this video so we could have their voice on it as well. I mean, we're gonna talk about this policy, we're gonna talk about whether or not it's clear or not clear, and I think that they would be a great asset to this piece. And unfortunately, it just didn't come together. Now, if that ever changes, I promise they'll be able to recut this video and re-upload it to add their voices to the piece. And if you're from OSHA and you're watching, there's a link right above the video. Please don't hesitate to contact me and we'll get something set up. So in lieu of OSHA, I brought in two industry experts from our company, Tom Corl, who's the VP of sales, and Tom Horner, a corporate rigging inspection manager, who you've heard from before and who's a great resource for information. And we start by talking about why there are so many differing stances and opinions on whether or not you need a hook with a safety latch. I think there's a lot of different opinions on the hook safety latch because sometimes I think people want to make it work right for them depending on their application. Some people argue that latches are required in all instances. Other people say latches are not required. And I, I think people just try to make it work whichever is, is good for them. Now, chances are you've probably met these people before. I call them warehouse lawyers, people that know more than anybody else, and it doesn't matter what policies on the wall, how many written pieces of content there are, how many educational videos there are, they seem to know more than anybody else, and it doesn't matter what you tell them, they just won't hear it. So specifically, what does OSHA say about a hook with a safety latch? Number one, in OSHA or ASME, you're not gonna find any specific statement requiring the use of a safety latch on a hook. Uh, manufacturers obviously make many styles of sling hooks that uh, are designed to be used with latches. Uh, we also know that there are many hooks still in service uh, made many years ago that were never designed to be used with a latch. Ultimately, it just comes down to is there is nothing in, in, in law or standard stating you shall do this. It's only going to be an interpretation of what somebody thinks is the best practice. So with governing bodies like OSHA and ASME in existence, why is it still so confusing? I think the, call it the directive or the, the guideline is not as clear cut because it does depend on the application, whether a latch is required or not. There's some times where uh, latches are not required. I believe OSHA states that if it's impractical or unnecessary, but even that is subjective. There's also the opportunity where the use of a latch can make an application more unsafe. If you're talking in a steel mill environment where they might be working over a ladle with a very large sling hook, the crane might actually position the hook into the a ladle itself rather than a human actually doing it manually. They wouldn't be able to do that if there was a latch on it. So I think you have to look at the application and, and that's why they've left it free for you to determine how you're gonna use that item and, and make sure you're using it in the safest manner. Since there are so many differing opinions and stances on this topic, I asked Tom Horner to give us some industry best practices. Assume 100% of the time you're gonna need a latch, and then you would work backwards from there. Because again, if it's designed from the manufacturer to have the latch, then it's gonna be a good reason for you to have a latch. So I would look across the board and start there, and then look to see if there's a particular instance that would make that latch more unsafe. And also to make sure that people understand what a latch is for. Latch is not to hold a load in place. Um, it's only meant to keep it from sliding out when the load is slack. So those are some great best practices, but I asked Tom Corral to give us the official Mazella Company stance on this topic. Any new sling that we're gonna put out, if the hook is uh, made so that it would accommodate a latch, we, Mozilla, will attach a, a hook latch, a safety latch to that hook.
Now, while we were talking, I asked both guys whether or not they felt that this OSHA policy was very, very clear and well explained, or if they thought it could use some revision. I think it's a little too murky. I'm not sure across the board that they can state that everything shall have a latch. Again, unless they had a clause in there that allowed you to defend why you could not. In my opinion, I don't think it needs to be revised. I think you still have to have the, the leeway for the end user, for that uh, employer to be able to determine based on the application. Uh, and again, it, it, you got to get back to what the particular OSHA inspector uh, may find and, and if they talk about the general duty clause where the worker or the employer is required to provide a safe workplace for the employee, they can always revert back to that. But again, I go back to the documentation. If we have an application, an end user has an application that they are adamant they should not have a latch, they should document it and state their reasons why. One of the most frustrating parts of this job is the constant battle between should versus shall and exactly what those things mean because depending on who you ask, they'll have a different opinion. So I asked Tom Corral to explain. Shall is something that, that is a must. You absolutely have to do it and it can be uh, punishable. Where a should is more of a recommendation and, and I know over the years you know, there's a lot of different discussions about should and shall and my understanding one interpretation is should is you do it unless you have a real good reason not to. And with the, call it the legal culture that we live in today, oftentimes, uh, you know, people talk about different stories, but if, if somebody is injured or killed and you have a, a trial going on, uh, in a jury, should and shall probably is going to be interpreted as being the same thing. It, it, it really would be. And before we wrap up, I wanted to make sure that we at least gave you some recommendations on what you could do to determine whether or not you need or don't really need some safety latches on your hooks. Whether you're talking your crane hook, whether you're talking a sling hook that's on some sort of a bridle, or however it's used across the board, whether you're talking construction or, or general industry. If it's designed to have a latch, and the latch is going to enforce uh, the situation to be more safe, then absolutely you're going to want to get the latches on there. Um, you're also going to want to make sure you inform and educate your people as to what the latch is for, what it's not for, and then just move forward from there. Latches, when used improperly, do get torn up and beat up pretty easily. That's just the honest statement. So you just want to be prepared to understand that there's a number of different vendors, old style, new style, some that were never designed, and you're going to have to look at it from, from all aspects of how you're going to invest your time into managing that and how you're going to enforce it through your own policies. Hopefully, this video is able to help give you a better understanding of hook safety latches, what the OSHA policy says, what it doesn't say, and some best practices for you. But you don't have to stop learning here. If you head to our YouTube channel, there's a ton of videos for you to watch. If you head to our website, there's a ton of blogs to read. And if you're not 100% sure whether or not your lifting program is OSHA and ASME compliant, there's a resource that we developed for you. If you click the link above, it'll take you to a place where you can download the free site assessment guide. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on anything else that we make. If you have more questions or if you need any help, don't hesitate to reach out to one of our lifting specialists. They're happy to help you however they can. Thank you for watching.